Hello guys! So this week I am planning and packing to go away on holiday to sea houses in the northeast of England and I am going to be packing some of my art supplies. And unlike other holidays, I'm not going to take everything because <laughs> I've got quite a lot of stuff. And I thought I'd show you what I'm going to take on my little holiday. So I've got some art supplies for on the go and then I've got some things to take in the, to, um, to take to do in the evenings because it's a self-catering cottage that we're staying at so there should be space for me to do art in the evenings as well. So come with me as I show you some of the supplies I'm taking and why I'm taking them and just delve into my art bag. Let's go! Okay guys, so you might remember a little while ago that I got this bag um, from the Sheffield Maker's Shop by a lovely company called Tommy and Zach and I got this specifically to hold my on-the-go sketchbooks because it's just big enough to hold an A5 sketchbook and an A... I think it's probably an A7 sketchbook. Maybe an A6 sketchbook, I don't, I don't know the sizes. So this is what I've got this for. Sorry if the camera wobbles but uh, there's hardly any room for me to stand with my tripod. Um, so I've got one of my Moleskine sketchbooks here and it's big enough to hold a little one, so I think it is an A6 sketchbook because it's half of the A5. Uh, so it's just a smaller version of that one. Anything else in there? It's because there's enough space for pencils and things as well, but I don't have any in there at the moment. So I have plenty of pages left in this sketchbook, so I'm going to take that. But I didn't realise this. Um, but I am one page left in this sketchbook, so I'm going to leave this at home. And I do have... Oh, let me just reach over here. Right. I did buy two new sketchbooks. One is a portrait orientation and one is a landscape orientation. They are the same sketchbook. I don't know which one to take because I can't take both of them because they won't both fit in this bag with this sketchbook. Hmm, I like the look of this one but because I'm going to a lovely part of the world with landscapes I think I'm going to take this one. These sketchbooks are really lovely. They're my favourite ones at the moment but I am liable to change my opinion. I'll try and put my hand through the tripod there. So they're watercolour paper um, and they're hardback so if you're leaning on your lap you can, you know, you don't have to have anything to lean on. I've got a little pocket back there to put, I don't know what you would actually put in there but if you want to put anything in a pocket that's the pocket for you. So that's what I'm going to take in there then, so let's put these away. You can see here that I've got a little bulldog clip. These are really useful for holding back your pages. So if you're out in the wind you can just hold back your pages and everything is fine. I tend to just have one on one side because I could use the elastic on the other side. But they're always quite nice to have, nice and handy to have close by in your sketchbook. All right, let's put these away without wobbling the camera too much. Right, so that is one. Next thing I'm going to take are pencils. No matter what else I take on holiday, whether it's uh, paints or, well, gouache or watercolour or uh, pens or pastels, I always like to have a set of drawing pencils some drawing pens and a couple of smudges just for if I do some pencil drawings. Oh, and a pencil sharpener. So I'm going to keep this in probably in this pencil case. This was a gift from one of the kids at my school that I used to teach at. Pencils and lippy, can you see that? I think that's really funny because I don't really wear lippy at all, but thanks anyway. Really lovely little pencil case actually, and it's quite funny. So the pencils that I take are a mixture of 4B, 2B, HB, 
2H and 4H. So we've got 2H, 4H, 2B, 4B and then HB which is in the middle. Um, I use my H pencils for my initial drawings because as long as you don't press hard they're nice and light and you can erase them without it being a problem uh, and leaving marks on the paper. So that's why I like 2H and 4H and you can see by the size of them that I probably need to buy some pencil extenders soon because they're the ones I use the most. But I do have a long one. Ooh, I've got a long one of the 2H anyway. I'm going to have to see if I've got one in my pot. So I've got, I should have a long one of the 4H as well. So I'll put those in my pencil case. Um, and I use the 4Bs and 2Bs for shading because they are deeper in tone um, and they are just good for adding a bit of depth to your pencil drawings if you are just doing pure pencil drawing. HB as well, is, I use that along there. So it goes lighter. Ooh. HB is light, 2B is darker, 4B is darker still, and they're softer as well. So they're good to use with the smudges, so that can just smudge in areas of shading. They can go in. That's just a normal 4H pencil. Don't forget my pencil sharpener. Um, and then I've got these pens. You've probably seen me use these pens before, and I've done a little review. Uh, sorry about the noise, my neighbours are chatting. Um, uh, you've probably seen me do talk about these before or use them before. I have done a review of these before. These are the Rotary Isograph pens. I'm not sponsored, but I just like them. I searched for these pens, not specifically for these pens, but I got these pens when I was looking for a pen that was refillable, but was also a, a fine art drawing pen. And these are architect's pens and they come in a range of different sizes. Um, but I've got uh, 0.10 and 0.30. They're quite fine. 0.30 is a little bit bigger thicker and um, point 0.10 is a little bit thinner but they were the size of nibs that I tended to use when I bought pen packs. As I say I got these because they're refillable. Before I go I will make sure that they are filled, um, full to the top and then I'll be good to go. Really nice fine pens. The ink that I use in those is also waterproof so I can put colour over the top of them which is really nice. Nice little touch. On this holiday I am going to focus on gouache as my medium. Sometimes when I go on holiday, well always when I go on holiday and I take art supplies I always take too much because I think it's probably better having too much than too little. Well I never use them and I always end up taking loads of space in the car, loads of space in my bag. So here's some more in here. Um, so I'm going to use these gouache. These gouache actually were bought with the help of my patrons so thank you patrons your continued financial and emotional support are always always valued and I thank you every every day when I'm using my lovely art supplies that you help me to be able to afford so thank you um, these are really nice quality uh, gouache the difference being water traditional watercolors and gouache is that gouache has um, more pigment in it um, it's more highly pigmented so you can get really nice dense colours and they're also opaque so you can layer light colours on top of dark colours. These are the colours I've been using recently for my feathers but I do have more colours in here. Um, I'm going to take them all along and I will probably just keep doing more feathers. In this pencil case I've also got some more bulldog clips for my sketchbooks so I'll keep those there ready. In my creativity pencil case. Oh one thing I've just spotted, erasers. Don't forget to take an eraser. It's okay to make mistakes guys. To go alongside my gouache I've got these paintbrushes. These are my new paintbrushes. So these are my new paintbrushes. They are uh, from a company called Jackson's. You still see them? Are they in focus? And they are um, size 3 over 0, which is really little and thin, 6, which is bigger, and 2, which is smaller than the 6. Um, and I like these. A good range of size is for me. Um, out of all of the brushes that I've bought in the past, and I've bought many that I don't use, these are the sizes that I use the most. So instead of wasting money on 
packs of brushes, I now only buy the sizes that I'm likely to use. Hooray for me and cleverness! Um, so I'm going to take these, I'll put them in my Creativity pencil case. So next thing I'm going to need something to mix my gouache in. So I'm going to take my porcelain palette. This is just um, a charity shop special. So rather than spending tens of pounds on a, a palette off an art website or an art shop, just go to the charity shop, see if you've got any white ceramics. They mix in the same way as a porcelain palette and are much cheaper. This, I think this was like 50 pence. So although it's not very kind of travel friendly, because I'll probably be doing my gouache in the evenings, this is okay, I'm happy with this. Also, to do my gouache in, I'm going to take my treasures journal. Don't know if you've seen this, but on Instagram I've been updating people on my treasures journal. I haven't done any for a couple of days, I really miss it. So, when I go on walks, I pick up treasures. So I've decided, rather than just picking them up to get dusty in my studio, I will also draw them. <laughs> They're still getting dusty in my studio, but um, I'm really enjoying making the art from them. And my idea is, once I fill this up, I'm going to um, write some poetry to go alongside it, and I'm going to publish it as uh, a self-published or a little zine type thing. So keep your eyes peeled for that. In fact, last month in, for my patrons, I made um, I did make my zine uh, for my seven dollar patrons into a like, little rough version of this. So I wrote some poetry and I, I scanned in some of these pictures, and I think it looked. Even if I do say so myself, I think it looked really nice. <laughs> so uh, I'm I'm really pleased with that. So that's my big sketchbook. So I've got my travel sketchbooks and my big sketchbook. Okay. I've got my pencils, my pencil sharpener, is that in there yet? And my rubbers. I've got my gouache and my mixing. I'm not going to take any water tubs because obviously there'll be cups and things there that I can use. So now I need something to take while I'm out on the go. And I know I said I was going to stick to gouache, but I think while I'm out and about, watercolour is probably going to be the easiest thing. So this is just a little travel watercolour set that I got. It's a Winsor & Newton one. I'm sure there are other brands out there, but this was a really nice little one. Just search for it on online. <coughs> My messy palette there. Um, what's nice about this is it has this little contraption in the middle. And what you can do is just fill that up with water and then you've got, whoa, and then you've got these little clean uh, these little brush cleaner things that you can clip on and then hold while you are painting. So I'll take that as well for while I'm out and about just in case I want to do any plein air paintings. Isn't likely. What I tend to do is I'll go out and I'll see something that I want to draw, take a picture of it and I'll tend to do it in the evening when I'm back but I want to get better at going out and about painting on location, so this will be very good for that. Also what I could do is take my gouache and mix in the palettes here, so I wouldn't necessarily need to take this monstrosity out. So that's what I'm going to take, it's also got a little brush in there as well, so cute. All right. Just one last thing before I leave it there. I think I'm going to take my watercolour pencils out as well because I've only just recently bought these. So this is the selection that I've got. Um, I'm going to, I'm trying to pare down my colours that I like using. So I'm going to try and see if I can experiment with these colours and pare down these colours while I'm away. Um, but I'm going to take them mainly because I really like this pencil case that I got at the same time as this. So I will take that out too. What I've got in my pencil case actually, this is quite useful. When you get a new set of colours on your pencils, get some paper out and do a little colour swatch. So do all the colours down there, all the colours across, and then overlay them with each other. And then you've got an idea when you're painting what colours to use when you are out. So if I wanted to make that colour, I would mix emerald green with I haven't written that one down, so indigo, dark indigo. So 
so it's a really nice little colour reference and a colour swatch. So I'm going to take that with me as well and that can go alongside my watercolour palette while I'm out. Oh no, I dropped a pencil. My poor pencil. That's probably going to be broken when I get down there. Ooh, this be fine. Right, it's probably too much for me to take and I'm sure a lot of you will be laughing at me for the amount of stuff that I'm taking away but if you had seen what I took on my last holiday you'd be patting me on the back. This is this is considerably less. So that's me. Right, now the important things are out of the way, I'd better go and pack my clothes. So until next week, bye bye!